Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Persis Caribbean Delights. And I'm, I'm assembling today a large, uh, a large amount of uh, cook-up rice. It's a really large order for cook-up rice. So I'm going to be using this huge pot here. And this is my coconut milk. I have fresh coconut milk which I made. And that's uh, carrots and some uh, onions, garlic, um, celery, some more onions and some thyme and some uh, parsley. Um, to that, I'm going to be adding this. Yeah, and we're going to have some rice. Uh, this is the rice and this is the lentil. Um, I'm, I have uh, several types of meats here. I have um, fresh pork tails, pork, uh, pork neck bones. Um, I have chicken, chicken wings. And in the second part, I have salted beef, salted pork tails. So this is all going to go into the into the mix. And uh, let's get to the. Uh, it's all going to go into the mix. So let's get started. So to my pot, I've added a stick of butter. So this is a, it's a lot of stuff we got to saute here. The stick of butter, when that's melted, I'm adding now about two or three tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil. About three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And we're going to start with that. So, let's get the, get everything of it. Fire back on. First, let's go in with the time. I usually throw the time right, just straight ahead in here to get that to get that oil infused. Get the time, oil and the butter infused. Obviously, we're going to go in with our carrots next. Or maybe the garlic next. <laughs> uh, carrots, garlic, onion, we're going to all work together. Yeah. Give this a stir. and just let it saute for about a minute or so. Oh, I do have some more onions in the other side. I need to put in there and let that onion work. Get into that uh, oil. The celery and the, uh, and the parsley, or the cilantro, sorry. They can go in at a later date when uh, the carrots and the onions are nice and translucent. The, the onions are nice and translucent. The carrot is a bit uh, soft. So we'll just let this go for another couple of minutes and then we'll be back. Now since I've freshly cooked the beef and the pork and the, um, the, the pork peels and stuff like that, and I'm also going to add chicken wings in here. I just put the chicken wings in so that they can get uh, start cooking because the other stuff is already uh, kind of uh, half cooked. So I'm going to get the chicken wings half cooked in here. Before we go to, before we add the rice and the lentil. Gonna, I'm going to do this, I've been doing this for about a minute now. I'm going to just keep turning them and let them go for another minute before I add the other ingredients. So I'll be back. So I've added my rice. I took the chicken leg, the chicken wings out after they have been uh, sauteed and cooked for a little bit. And then I put my rice in here so that it can soak up some of that uh, flavor. 
and you get coated with the oil and I'll just let this go for a little bit maybe a minute or so I've added the other meat to the rice and I gave it a stir. The rice and lentil. This is a lot of meat. I just add maybe just a little bit more water. Once it comes to a boil, I stick it in the oven and I will really finish them off in the oven. So I'll be back. So I have uh, put it into the oven and after it's been boiling here for maybe about um, 10 to 15 minutes and the water starts to subside out on this stove, I just covered it with a piece of foil so it would steam on the top and I put it in the oven. It will be in the oven maybe about 20 minutes and then we'll take it out and we'll fluff and see what we have. I'll be back. So guys, here we go. I just uh, took it out of the oven. It was in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And it's nice and fluffed. It's nice and fluffy. And uh, it's wonderful. This is your rice. This is your lentil cooking. This is your lentil cook-up rice. It's nice and fluffy and flavorful with all the meats, the four different kinds of meats that I have in here. It's awesome. So this is just to show you, I assembled a very large pot of uh, lentil cook-up and it's uh, fantastic. It's not very hard to do. You just have to have it prepared way in advance pre-cook some of the stuff and just finish it in the oven. So once again, like, share, subscribe and I thank you for watching.